Hi guys, good morning. Oh, good morning from New York and good evening in the Philippines or whatever part of the world you are at right now. Do we have people around this? So mm, it's breakfast. pretty early. It's um, what time? It's 8.30 here. Um, Esther's holding the phone. <laughs> there she is. Uh, I'm trying to eat breakfast, but we were having a conversation about, you know, me turning up, passing on the crown, and it just made me emo, so I said, I'll eat later. <laughs> oh, there, there it is. So anyway, um, ooh, we got a few people. <clears throat> anyway, um, the competition is getting close. It's happening in the Philippines, finally, finally. And um, I'm very excited. Do you have your tickets yet? Because the tickets are going fast. They're selling like hotcakes. <laughs> and um, uh, you can get your tickets at uh, smticket.com or any uh, SM ticket outlet uh, in the Philippines. So if you're in the Philippines, you can go to any SM ticket outlet or if you're not, if you live abroad and you want to watch the competition, you can go to www.smticket.com. Take some questions. Questions. All right. So any questions, guys? Uh, the questions are coming in kind of slow. Do you, do you see the questions? Because in mm -hmm. here, it's kind of slow. I see them. Hi, Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca's online. Are you, have you had breakfast yet, Rebecca? <laughs> have some bacon? Can I send over some bacon to your apartment? Maya said, well done. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very excited for the competition because it's happening, of course, in the Philippines and it's it's something that I've always wanted to see, you know, and I'm glad that it's happening while uh, during my reign, so I get to turn over my crown there and uh, may, not, may not have had like a first walk, but at least I'll have a nice final walk and I'm excited for that. Can't reveal any details about the gown yet because I want to keep it a surprise, so that's Dubai is on the line. Oh, Dubai. I'm going back to Dubai because I want to do skydiving. So I'll go back there. Maybe I'll take Esther with me. No? Why? Afraid. Afraid? No. Oh. At least your answer was, no, because I'll be busy with the new girl. <laughs> um, I'm still going to bug Miss Universe. Do you after. think Maxine has potential? Of course. I think, you know, uh, she's very... She's been training very well, and I think, you know, she'll do very well at Miss Universe. Um, she, she's, she's always been a strong contender, and I can't wait to see her performance for the final night. And she has, like, the whole country backing her up, so she should be fine. Which mm -hmm. reminds me, I have to reply to her. <laughs> Are you sad about Deshana leaving? No, because I'm going to see her there. But because, right? I'm gonna see her in the Philippines. So even if we say goodbye here, I'll see her in the hotel in the Philippines. And I can't wait to see her wear USA though. That would be nice. And um, yeah, she's still asleep. We're in the apartment right now, by the way, if you're wondering where we are. So live from New York City, there's snow outside. And uh, Deshaun is still asleep. I haven't finished my pancakes. I'll finish this later. And uh, yeah, that's You're gonna it. miss the apartment. Yeah. I'm gonna miss the apartment. <laughs> you know what, it's so silly, right? I took photos inside the my room last night because I realized I don't have any photos in my room. Like I only have photos right here or maybe in the living room right there. But, uh, or by the receiving area by the door, but uh, so now I have photos of my room, even though it's a mess. What are your plans for the future? Well, you know, I'm 
I'm very lucky that um, I still have a lot of work uh, lined up after Miss Universe. In fact, my February is just like, it's booked the whole month and... Hi, Carl Allison. Oh, hi. Hi. So, um, that's good and um, the work continues on and I'm coming back here to New York, so I'll go back to the office, knock on your office and be like, so here's my resume. I have uh, experience in, with the job. I'm no, just kidding. Everyone's saying good luck. You're stunning. Oh, thank you. And um, I'm trying to look at myself because I actually have, I'm looking at myself right here right now. So I'm just making sure I don't look. So um, anyway, <laughs> uh, right. So there's a lot of activities in store for the Miss Universe competition. A lot of girls competing this year. Some like some countries are coming back to compete, which I think is pretty exciting. And I think we have some new um, uh, like candidates as well from countries that have, haven't competed before, right? Yeah. So that's exciting. And of course, there's a lot of activities. The girls will be touring around the Philippines. And on January uh, 16 is the Governor's Ball at uh, SM Mall of Asia. And that's where you'll get to see the girls up close for the first time. So, hmm? I think there's one event beforehand, but that's the kickoff kickoff. Really oh, busy. the kickoff is happening before the Governor's Ball. There's one more event before the Governor's Ball, but you will be at the Governor's Ball. Oh, right. Okay. So I will be at the Governor's Ball. See, I don't even know my schedule. Only Esther is telling me now. All right. So I will be at the Governor's Ball on January 16 at the SM Mall of Asia, along with the candidates for Miss Universe 2016. And... Um, so you can watch, you know, like SM Wall of Asia is, I mean, it's a mall, how can, <laughs> so if you guys come, like, you might, you know, might see each other. So uh, besides that, there's also the national gift auction. Now, if you're a fan of Miss Universe, you know that um, part of our activity every year is all the candidates bring a gift from their country and we auction it out for a charity. So. For example, myself, when I was Miss Philippines, I had some pearl necklaces and pearl earrings that I auctioned off uh, for Miss Universe because, you know, pearls are very popular in the Philippines and were known as the Pearl of the Orient. I think it was very fitting. So, so each country has something to offer and then it gets auctioned out. So it's all for a good cause and that's going to happen on January 23 at the Conrad Hotel. So. You know, mga tatandaan you guys, January 16, SM Mall of Asia, Governor's Ball, and January 23, Conrad Hotel, which is the national gift auction. Someone asked, are you allowed to work at Miss Universe after your reign? As what? <laughs> that depends. Um, I'll definitely still be working closely with Miss Universe after because most of my um, contracts or commitments go beyond one year so unfortunately Esther will still you know have to deal with me <laughs> and uh, what else so also all okay, right on Instagram there's a new account that you can follow where you get uh, updates on the Miss Universe competition uh, it's called um, it's at six five sixty fifth Miss Universe 65 th like it's easier that way right it's at let me just pull it up just show it to you oh and don't forget to download the new miss you app um we revamped it it looks different now uh, before the logo was pink and now it's pia blue so um, the new Miss You app, you, know, you can download that. That's where you can get updates on everything that's happening during the Miss Universe competition. So you get updates 
on what I'm doing and what the contestants are doing on what your candidate is doing. So um, make sure to download the app. That'll be especially useful when it's competition time. And also, don't forget to follow this page. Let me just put it right here. So. 65th Miss Universe. Oh, my hands are shaky. Do you see it? Oh, sorry. There. It's only got like 7,000 followers at the moment, but I'm expecting this to go up. Ooh, it's going up. <laughs> so there. <clears throat> but of course, Miss Universe is always the first. Oh, yeah. Miss, at Miss Universe, you'll always get updates from there. N no questions asked. Like, that's for sure. But for this competition specifically, you can also follow that account. So you can follow both, you know, why not? Just to make sure you're really updated on everything that's going on. And so that's it. Um, how many days until the competition? Less than a month. And um, so, do you guys have any questions at all? What's your future plans? Future plans? Um, you know, some of them I can't reveal yet because I'm waiting on their go signal to tell me, okay, you can tell people about this and that. But um, right now, I'm just going to keep everything to myself because I don't want to upset anybody. But um, everything's going pretty well and I'm not really worried about what's going to happen to me after work-wise. I'm still going to be quite busy. But I am going to miss, you know, doing this every day so yeah Belize in the house hmm? Belize 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 sorry guys I'm just like reading the questions do you guys have any questions at all for the performers I don't know who's going to do the performances for Miss Universe yet um of course, WME IMG will decide on that, along with, of course, Miss Universe. So once we're sure, we'll let you know. You know, of course, we want to get the fans excited and we want you to look forward to the performers. I'm excited as well. I want to know who it's going to be. Uh, last time it was um, Charlie Puth and Seal, and I think that was, you know, that was great. And for Miss USA, it was the Backstreet Boys. So that was exciting. They're asking again, and I know you answered it, are tickets available? Tickets are available, yes, and but you have to get your tickets now because they're running out. And um, you can go to smticket.com to get your tickets. Get it now while you can. And also you can go to any SM ticket outlet and get your tickets in person just so you know you have it already right now. So what time is it in Manila? It's... um pretty late I'm sure favorites mm. I, I can't tell like because I haven't seen all the girls yet in person and what I learned from the past Miss Universe is um, you can't really you know start your predictions unless you've seen the girls in person because um, you know photos and all that you know it's so easy to <laughs> Look so <laughs> Esther's looking at me funny. What I'm trying to say is um, some girls may surprise you in person. That's why I don't want to cancel any, anybody out, you know? Maybe we have somebody right now who's not really, um, I don't know, who's not really social media savvy, but then if you see her in person, you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> She's a dark horse, so I can't I can't say for now. I have to see the girls in person. And being Miss Universe, did I just say that? Being Miss Universe, um, I look for somebody who can take the job. That's how I see it. Like you know, I understand. Like when you watch the show, you usually go for the prettiest girl or the girl with the best body or with the best answer, but. What I look for is the overall personality and attitude because you're going to be applying for a job and 
it's not gonna end on the pageant night where you know you get the crowd and it's all nice and you wave to the fans and it's over it actually starts there that's day one of your job and because I know the job what I look for in a candidate is um, somebody who's ready to take on the job for a year because it's you have to commit to it. It, you, it has to be something that you really want to do and not just something like of the moment because it's fun, because it's, you know, it'll make you popular, this and that. Like, you have to love your job. And that's what I look for in a candidate. And I won't be able to tell unless I see the girls up close. I'll be able to tell who has that spark in her eye, that fire to wear the crown. What would be your personal message to, uh, to the candidates? Hmm. My personal message to the candidates. Um, take a lot of photos. Enjoy. Um, have fun with it. And well, what is my message to the candidates? You know, this is something that you can't do again. You know, you join Miss Universe, you can't. It's not like, well, in my case, it's not like Bini Bini Pilipinas or Miss Philippines where I joined three times, you know. If I don't make it once, I can just do it again next year. Miss Universe, you only get one chance to do it. And you want to make sure that you represent your country well, that you represent yourself well, and at the same time that you're having fun with it. Because you don't want to leave the competition with regrets and thinking that, wow, like I didn't even get anything from this like I didn't even learn anything like I didn't even make that much friends you don't want that you know regret so you want to make sure that you get something out of the competition and I think Paula will be able to guide you on that once the competition starts because she gave us a good talk like at the very start before everything even started we we all gathered and then she gave us um, some tips on how to enjoy the whole three weeks we were in Las Vegas and she'll do the same. So uh, she'll be there to guide you. I'll be there to guide you too. Is Steve Harvey back? Steve Harvey is back, yes. Um, he is the host of um, the Miss Universe competition in the Philippines and I'm excited. I think um, he brings great comic relief to the show because as a candidate, because I know I've been there, it's very nerve wracking. And um, when you have a host that kind of knows how to make you feel, you know, calm and just like put some fun into the show, I appreciate that. Like for me, I like that because, you know, I don't think beauty pageants have to be so stiff and so serious anymore. I like that we're adding a little bit of um, comedy to it. and. Um, I think he's he's a great host. He knows when to, you know, be funny and he knows when to be serious. And I I can't wait to see him again. I'm sure he will enjoy the Philippines and the Filipinos will welcome him. My favorite question: What would you miss most about me and the Miss Universe organization? Mm. Eh. <laughs> um, I'm going to miss Esther. Um, emailing me my itinerary every day and then me and our travels our long talks in the airplane um, our food trip ah! <laughs> Esther <laughs> I'm going to miss going to the office and reporting to you when you're getting mad at me for not doing my expense report <laughs> Or when I forget to put my phone on loud and or charge it and you need to contact me. One time Esther was like, we can't keep having this problem. This is why you have a work phone. <laughs> hmm? Mauling? Mauling? Balling? Huh? Huh? Paula, sure. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, Paula, yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to miss... Um, Every time I see Paula, like even up to now, I've worked with her for a year already, but I still have that in me that every time I see her, it's like seeing your mom or your boss where you're like, 
you're doing something and you're like, hi, hi Paula, good morning. It, when you're like, you you suddenly become proper when they're around. So, you know, I, but she knows me. She knows like I'm really goofy and then that I'm really not like that. And I'm going to miss her advice when, you know, she sits down and talks to me and she gives me life lessons. And Sean, I'm going to miss um, I really appreciate all Sean's hard work like in making sure that I get the right endorsements, that I'm with the right people, that I'm connected with the right people. Everybody um, in the Miss Universe organization I think played a big role in making my reign memorable and making my reign memorable and um, I'm really glad that I got to work with everybody I'm really grateful and I hope um, I hope you guys had um, did I hope I didn't give you guys too much of a headache <laughs> can we address those angry faces and tell everybody let's get together and enjoy yeah why are there angry people I don't understand yeah I don't understand why are they so angry Hmm. Like, did I miss out on anything? Huh? Everybody get along. I know. I, I know, guys. Like, it's the competition is getting close, and you know, everybody's getting excited, nervous, and we all want our bets to win. We all want our candidates to win, and you know, I understand. Like, I'm also a fan of Miss Universe, and um, I also get really emotional with my with whoever's representing my country because I want her to do well. So I understand if you're getting, you know, um, excited, upset, whatever, emotional about uh, competition because you want your country to win and that's totally understandable. Um, but I do think that we're missing the whole point of the pageant here because that's the reason why we have a pageant that's uniting girls from different countries is that to show that we can all get along and, you know, if we're not able to, um, if we're not, if I'm not able to tell the fans that or make the fans get along, then I feel like I'm not doing my job well, because that's the whole point of all of us being selected from our countries and being under one roof, under one competition, being happy for each other regardless of the result, is it's a unity, the unity of different countries really and what better you know that's that's the whole point of this whole competition and um, I hope that um, it that can reflect with the fans it'll reflect with the fans um, uh, with the fans is, um, I don't want to say with their state at the moment so. Indonesia's online oh I love Indonesia um, I remember Indonesia was the only trip that I went to where I cried when I had to leave. Remember? I cried. I cried when I had to leave, leave Indonesia because I got along so well with the people. Germany's on. Hmm? Germany. Germany? We didn't go to Germany. They weren't alive. Oh, hi! hi. Uh, like, I, was, I almost like wanted to speak in German, but then I know I can't. I'll probably screw it up. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> Tagalog. Tagalog. Uh, kumusta po? Uh, maraming salamat. Um, so what else? Uh, right, I'm just gonna g r rumble on about whatever. So, uh, right. Don't fight, guys. I see your comments. Don't fight. Um, I always tell my fans and the Pianatics, especially, you know, even way back in Miss Philippines, that I don't like to see you um, bashing other candidates. Because, especially with the Pianatics, because there's really no need for you to fight back anymore because we already won, <laughs> you know? And um, let's just be happy that the competition is happening in our country. and. Let's just think that whatever we do now, even it's, if it's just online, if people know that you're a Filipino and then you know you're bashing other people, then that's gonna reflect 
with how other nations perceive us. And I hope that we all start to become representatives of our country. Like, it's not just because I'm the one wearing the sash and I'm the one who's Miss Universe and it's, it's just my responsibility to do that. I think that's everyone's responsibility to make sure that you're, you behave properly, that you enjoy the pageant in a, in a fair, diplomatic way, and that um, you cheer for your candidates. And if, if not, then you cheer on for the other candidates. Because, you know, you try to think of it this way. All of the girls that are com competing, we all have the same dream. You know, you feel for your girl because she's your fellow countryman, right? She's your kababayan. You feel for her because you know that she wants to win the crown. But there's also other girls who want to win the crown. And they also have ambitions. They also have friends and families. And, you know, they also get hurt. And they also have moments where they cry. And we're all just human. So I think the tendency is people forget that we're not robots and that um, because I understand it's we're on TV, it's a show, we we start to forget that these girls have emotions and they feel bad, you know, especially if um, people start fighting and that's not what we want, especially at Miss Universe. So I really hope that everybody gets along and I hope that this competition goes to um, uh, has a good start, especially in the Philippines. I really look forward to that. Right, so again, I'd like to go back to topic because we're getting kind of emo here, no? Um, <clears throat> if you don't have your tickets yet, you can buy them at smticket.com or if you're in the Philippines and you'd like to get your tickets now, just go to any SM ticket outlet near you to get your tickets for the 65th Miss Universe competition. Now, the dates to remember are January 16 is the Governor's Ball at SM Mall of Asia and January 23 is the National Gift Auction, which is happening at the Conrad Hotel. So those are the two dates to remember. And also, don't forget to get your tickets for the competition. So I'll see you guys in Manila. I'm very excited. I'm going to finish my food now and then I'm going to continue on with, you know, whatever, packing or... Uh, preparing for the trip. I'm so excited to see you guys. I'll keep you guys updated. So just follow the Miss Universe accounts on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and also at 65th Miss Universe to get updates on the 65th Miss Universe competition. So I'll see you guys in Manila. Mabuhay, maraming salamat po, and bye for now. For now.